Hey everyone, it's Crystal from Crystal's Creations. I am back to bring you guys a cook with me video. I'm, tonight I'm making meatloaf and it is a lifelong recipe that my mom always made and I grew up learning to make it and now I'm going to share it with you. It um, includes picante sauce, so if that already sounds good to you and you like something a little bit spicy, stay tuned. Okay guys, here's what you'll need. One large bowl for mixing everything in. One and a half pounds of ground beef or ground turkey, a small container of tomato sauce, a small jar of picante sauce, and you can use hot, medium, or mild, one egg, and one cup of oatmeal. Not instant oatmeal. And of course, some clean hands. Alright guys, so hopefully you can see from this angle, the kitchen's a little crowded right now because I'm rearranging, but... Um, yeah, hopefully you can get all this in here. So we're going to start by throwing in our, I actually have one and a half pounds of beef here. And you can use ground turkey as well. Um, I prefer the ground beef that I buy at Sprouts. It is really tasty, especially for meatloaf or hamburgers. So we're going to use that. Alright, so we're just going to break this all up, and this is a use your hands, get messy recipe because um, everything just kind of incorporates better this way. I had my meat taken out like day before yesterday, and it's still a little frozen in some spots, but it's okay. It's not solid, so it's workable. Alright, so with that... And then we are going to add our one cup of oatmeal. Now, if you don't have oatmeal, no worries. You can also crush up cornflakes or you can crush up saltine crackers. Either one works just great. You just want um, something that's going to help hold it together. You're basically making a giant meat ball, so to speak. So you want the same consistency, the same stickiness. And if you guys hear noises in the background, it's my family <laughs> winding down for the day. Alright, so we're going to take our one egg and just crack that in there. There's no need to um, scramble it or anything like that because we're just going to work it in. Oops, sorry. And you kind of want to work it in as if you're kneading bread. And fair warning, if you just took the meat out of the refrigerator, it is cold. I'm going to clean my hands so that way I can open the jar and tomato sauce, which is something I should have done first, but I didn't, so give me a second. Alright, so we're not going to use this whole jar. I did get this from the Dollar Tree. It is a 8 ounce is a eight ounce jar. This isn't necessary for the meatloaf, but this is what I use that kind of sets mine apart from like meatloaf that I've had anywhere else. Um, so basically if you are going to use this, you pretty much want to do it to your um, own taste. I get the medium because my kiddos like to eat the meatloaf, so I don't want it too hot for them. Um, but if it was just me and my husband, I'd get the hot and use the big jar and use like half. So I'm just going to pour in, I pour it in up to the curve right now. I'm just going to mix that. And if, you know, if you put enough of this picante sauce, you won't need the tomato sauce um, kneaded in until we're getting ready to put it in the oven. 
So you want to incorporate this really well. Um, I feel like it could use a little more. And plus bonus part of this, this is full of veggies. So my kids are eating vegetables and they won't even know it. So we can do this with one hand. put a little bit in here. We don't want this too um, wet or slippery, I guess. We want to be able to make um, it stick together really well. We don't want it falling apart in the oven, so we don't want to put too many juices in it. Because we have to remember this is beef. We don't want the grease from it. You know, it already has its own natural oils and stuff, so we don't want that to make it fall apart in the oven. So I just kind of take some, see if it, you know, will hold a shape, and it does. So I think that's pretty good. Now we're going to, I'm going to go wash my hands, and I'm going to line up a pan, and make our loaf shape, and then we're going to throw it in the oven. All right, be right back. Okay, this is my favorite pan to use for my meatloaf, but let's see, I'm making kind of a big loaf tonight, so let's see if it's going to, yeah, work. So you can use a bread pan, but with some thing like this or a more open, um, well you don't really want to use a cookie sheet per se, you can, but the, there's a chance if it's like really fatty meat, it's going to, you know, over, or go over on the, off the pan. So, but you do want space between your, around your meatloaf. Um, what that's going to do is it's going to cause some crispy edges around it. So, you know, and that's really good. So it makes me really like the ends. <laughs> Alright, so, easy donuts. Just made a little loaf. Now we're going to get some more of our tomato sauce and we're just going to drizzle that on a little. And you want to pretty much hand paint. <laughs> tomato sauce all the way across around the loaf. You don't want to put too much because we don't want it swimming in it. Just a nice coating. Make sure to get the sides. And then we'll do this again um, when it's halfway done if it needs it because we don't want it getting dried out. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to throw it in the oven. I have my oven set at 400 degrees. Um, the typical cooking temperature is 350 for one hour, but I have a aggravating <laughs> um, electric stove that just doesn't, I mean, it just needs more, a higher temperature. So depending on your stove, if you know your stove really well about how long it takes to cook, um, but the typical recipe is 350 for about 50 minutes to an hour. We're gonna check on it. Sometimes it needs a little less time, sometimes it needs a little more, but I'm gonna throw this in and I'm gonna check it at 50, or I'm gonna check it at 45 minutes and see if it needs more tomato sauce and see how far we've come along and then um, put it in for the remainder of the time it needs to get finished. bad boy. Oh. There it goes. Alright, there we go. Okay, so I also wanted to say while that's cooking, you can prepare your sides, you can cook the, if you have any extra meat that you didn't need for the meatloaf like I did. Um, I actually already cooked it because I was waiting for it to defrost and for my phone to charge to record. Um, but, you know, you have a good amount of time you can get some other stuff done. So what I'm making tonight for my sides is, I showed this in a haul, 
Israel Israela <laughs> wanted these Hungry Jack cheesy scalloped potatoes. So I'm going to make that for a side and probably a vegetable of some sort, probably either um, corn or green beans, maybe some carrots. It wasn't completely planned for the sides, but um, if anything, it'll just be the potatoes. So we're going to let that cook and I will get back on here when it's almost ready. All right, guys, I just took this meatloaf out of the oven, and it looks great. It actually ended up, even at 400, it ended up taking an hour and 15 minutes. So, like I said, depending on the, your oven, I I know if I had a gas oven, it wouldn't have taken so long. Um, but I'm still getting used to this one. So, anyway, I already sliced it up, and we're going to put it out on the table and get this dinner going. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys try this recipe, please let me know what you think. I really appreciate all the comments and likes and all your guys' love. Have a good night.